pay attention to all safety instructions when operating the machinery and study the model-specific instructions from the operating manual. First, switch off the virtual terminal, iPad or control station and the fan before opening the cover. Make sure that the sliding hatch is closed to prevent the seed from flowing out of the seed hopper. Have a seed bag hung below the seed meter. Now, open the two knobs of the cover and open the locking of the disc and pull the disc out. When replacing a new disc, please also change the knockout wheel with respective wheel for that disc. The unused knockout wheels can be stored on the shaft. Make sure the disc sits firmly in place and lock it. The drill control is already preset with the correct type of machine at the factory. Usually there is no need for changing the general setting. First choose the unit to be calibrated from the iPad calibration section. Then set the desired increase or decrease percentage, i.e. 5%. Now set the driving speed you are doing the calibration for. The chosen seed rate can be applied to all row units or can be set individually. Now select the number of holes on the seed disc you are using. Choose if you want to calibrate according to the spacing between the plants or number of seed per area. Have an empty calibration bag under the row unit. Now you are ready to start the fan and run the calibration. Please make sure you have correct pressure of 3.5 kPa on the unit. Run the calibration long enough to have at least 200 seeds having been dispensed. Now adjust the singulator dial set to the desired direction and rerun the test until you have correct results. After completion, exit the calibration menu and empty the bag to the hopper. Use the same procedure for fertilizer and microgranule calibration if necessary. You are now ready for the most precise drilling.